Gang time. Okay, so live Twitter update. This is actually happening right now on my Twitter timeline. In Black Twitter, we are discussing this anonymous gentleman, this unsung hero. I'm just, I'm just playing. This guy and this woman, they married. So the storyline goes. Matter of fact, I'll just, I'm gonna try to put a picture up. Anyway, storyline goes. Um, this man sent this woman a spreadsheet of how many times she had denied him sexual intercourse inside of their marriage in a seven week period. That's like two months. Two months of not getting no nookie. That's not, for me personally, not really a big problem. I'm a spiritual man. I have gone on sexual fasts. I anticipate that this will happen once I am married. That's not my problem. My problem is... <clears throat> Why we couldn't talk about it, bitch? We couldn't talk about this? Couldn't handle real conversations? Couldn't sit down and communicate about it? You couldn't let me know that my dick was gonna be dry for this long? I'm saying, listen. I enjoy the conversation that's happening on the TL right now. The only thing, only reason I'm even making a video, which is like, you know, an old medium, is because I'm on the line on Twitter with my friend Tao, and she just like, I don't feel like she really getting it. One of the, well, getting my perspective anyway. <clears throat> One of the main things that Yoazir, that's me, will always say is that I appreciate empathy in communication. Empathy in communication. And I feel like some of y'all women not really being empathetic with the situation as far as the men are concerned. You gotta be empathetic. You gotta, you gotta feel what we feel. You understand what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> let me lay it out just a little, just a little bit. I'm gonna lay it out a little bit. Now I'm saying, number one, this man feel betrayed. As an American man, he feels betrayed. Because when he signed up for marriage, in the contract, at least the social contract, it state that he can get pussy whenever he want. That's the social contract. That's that's just what it is. I know that's how women think. I've heard many women say, oh, don't let my man tell me I can't have sex. So you you gotta understand this is a this man is hurt. He feel like his contract been breached. Number two, he been thinking, what if this bitch been cheating on me? Now I'm very, very tired of the stigma around men like we're not supposed to have emotions. Like we're not supposed to have feelings. Our feelings is hurt. They get hurt. It happens. Sometimes and most of the times y'all be the cause of it. You gotta recognize that. Okay? Damn. Then this guy gotta think about, well, what am I doing wrong? Well, what, well, what's happening? He not getting no answers. Somebody tell me no. Now, if she my girlfriend or somebody I just met, somebody tell me no. I ain't just gonna go beat off or something, find another bitch to have sex with. But you my wife? You my wife? I gotta figure this shit out. What what is happening? He might be thinking, am I getting fat? Yes, men have a fear of getting fat. It happens. Niggas get fat. And we don't like it just as much as y'all don't like it. We got body issues the same as y'all do. Same way y'all look at Cosmopolitan and want to look like that bitch on the front cover. We look at uh, ESPN Sports and want to look like that nigga with all them ripped up abs and shit. We be listening to y'all talking about, ooh, girl, he's sexy. He can do whatever he wants to me. Nah, bitch, I don't look like that. It happens. You got to recognize that shit. Damn. Now, I got people all over telling me it is unacceptable. The method that he used, he should have communicated verbally. Let me paint a picture for you. There are several people in this world who cannot communicate verbally the same as others. It just don't happen. Maybe this man was a wizard with, with spreadsheets. You ever think about that? Maybe that's what he does for his job. Maybe that's his most comfortable form of communication. Talking about sex makes people uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. You know a problem I always had? I can not never give compliments about sex. It makes me feel weird. I just prefer, I don't know doing it better. I'll write you a note or a poem or something, but actually talking to you about it, 
nah, I'm gonna do my thing in there, but you know. y'all gotta understand, this man has started to go insane, he is losing his shit, anybody that sit up and start to record instances of conversations is insane, yes, I'm talking to you women who sit down and record instances of conversations, you are insane, get yourself checked out, this man has started nutting up behind his ability to not be able to nut up. This is insane. So he done sat through all this this entire seven week period, which means it's been going on longer than that. I guarantee, I guarantee this is not the first time that this has happened. This is just the first time that he decided to say something about it, right? So this man has started nutting up, getting confused, figured he, he they got the perfect life they just bought a house they both got jobs they ready for them kids that they don't have yet he's trying to figure out what's wrong what's the problem so this man has started going insane and creating a spreadsheet now i personally i fall back to websites bitch if you make me crazy enough to make a website about your ass you have to leave my vicinity because i'm this close to stabbing your ass i'm very serious yeah yeah, yeah. You know, we can have these conversations about uh, men shouldn't be violent towards women, patriarchy, this and that. That's cool. That's a whole different conversation. What I'm saying is, if you're driving me insane enough to go back into banal activity, like spreadsheets, Word documents, PDFs, what, 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 what? Look, man, I gotta go play basketball. But the moral of my story is, in communication, you have to be open to all forms of communication. A man's emotional setup is just as varied and colorful as a woman's emotional setup. Every time we reach out for sex, it's not always about sex. Sometimes it's about intimacy. Sometimes it's about wanting to feel loved. It's very varied. So for him to be turned down that many times in a row, he begins to question himself. And to the woman's side, she was definitely having body issues. She was definitely getting caught up in work. But I have been led to believe, and because I'm trying to get married, people have been trying to talk to me on a regular basis about communication part of that is paying attention to your partner if your partner is reaching out to you in whatever form you have to listen and pay attention and if something is going on with you it is your duty to help them understand that so you have to understand yourself so that they can understand it so you don't catch a spreadsheet because best believe somebody gonna make you a damn spreadsheet you feel me